about dollars and cents, but in the end, and I've said this many times, um, you know, they say money can't buy happiness, but it's for sale. So we have to show the employees that work in the school system that we care about them. Absolutely. They, they go through stuff day in and day out that we cannot help or control. That's right. So the least we can do is ensure that they're being paid on a competitive scale, That's all right, and show them that we want them here. Mm -hmm. We understand your job is difficult. We understand there's hardships. We want to compensate you the best we can Absolutely. for the job that you're doing. And that was the commitment we made. Absolutely. Any other comments? You've been taking notes, Mr. Collins. Got a page for it. I know. First, I certainly want to commend everyone on the committee. And I think it's great that everyone was involved in every aspect of this system. There are a lot of really good points in here, and I marked a lot of those, and I have a lot of notes and questions that we'll talk about at some point, too. My, my one issue, and I'm going to have a really hard time changing to this, and looking at the day school systems, and I've mentioned a lot of meetings, and I've got folders full of articles. Every school system around us has been fighting budgets and step raises for years and years, trying to find a way for step raises to work. My issues with step raises, period, is that we're going to continue to make promises that we can't keep and that every school board after us is going to be involved with promises that we can't keep. Now, with that being said, since I've been on the school board and you have documentation here, we've been able to provide raises when we could and sometimes more than steps to the point that what I see here, there would be some pay cuts going back to scales. But to imply, and I won't ever say promise, because I don't think our steps have ever promised, they've implied that every year teachers could get a raise and that every year they could get X number of dollars a raise. I don't see any way that, that I can comfortably uh, put together a plan that's going to lead a teacher to believe that they're going to get a particular raise every year. Our economy for the last 10 years has been really tough. And we have given raises when we could, and based on how the state funds raises, it makes it very difficult for step raises to be there too. Now, when I look at dollars, and it is about dollars, I certainly want our teachers to get raises, our, our employees, not our teachers, our employees, all of our employees to get raises. And, and our school boards over the last few years have made every effort to make that happen when possible. The state has made it very difficult with matching funds. And last year they made it even worse when we had to take the whole load ourselves. Mm -hmm. But but I think showing the intent of the board was that we went ahead and did it. So the board was supportive of the raises for all of our employees there and not just a select few that the state has recommended over the last several years. Mm -hmm. But the, the real problem I see with the step raises is that when teachers come into our systems, they, they believe that those step raises are going to be there and they're going to happen no matter what. Now, you know, I look at numbers and numbers you put together, and, and this is a great plan, and there's a lot of things I agree with, and, and I feel like we will have a pay scale and step raise regardless of my feelings, but I feel like I should put them out there, but, you know, We'll, we're looking at a $250,000, $300,000 per year forever that's going to continue to grow. That's just to get it to a level playing field. And once those steps progress, that $300,000 per year is going to steadily grow by a $50,000, $60,000 a year. Uh, a few years down the road, we have to be coming up with a half a million dollars a year for an operating budget additional to what we have today. And the numbers, as I understand it here, that are projected is a $250,000, $300,000 per year that we will have to go for an operating budget. Now, that's not anticipating any other increase in cost. 
Now, our revenues are pretty stagnant, that we can't really anticipate any increased revenues from anyone. Certainly not the city because they're struggling. It's not likely the state, and whenever the state does, they're very good about tying strings to it. Now, I look at this dollar amounts, and if we're looking at long term, because of our current budget woes, we were unable to start a pre-K class this year that long term could have provided possibly a half a million or over a year in revenue. But because of budget, we had no money for that teacher. We had to turn away kids that could be with us that could generate money. So if, if we're looking at putting a big plan together, if we could have had another $60,000 this year for a teacher, then, then three or four or five years from now, we could potentially have a half a million dollars a year in revenue coming in additional based on ADM, but that didn't happen. So, you know, we're looking at a, a long-term business plan, and in theory, we just shot ourselves in the foot on long-term increase in capital. So we have to look at the only hopeful increase in revenues is by adding more students. And as we add more student, students, we have to add more teachers at whatever cost they may be. And, and we have not added a couple teachers this year besides this because we doubled up. We just couldn't. So, you know, as, as we look at this, I'm not against raises. I voted for every raise in here. Um, we struggled a couple of times to be able to do that, but I have. But, but I like being up front. I like doing what we can. I think we've shown that we will do what we can when we can. But to imply that we're going to keep these steps in place, I think we're going to continue to have issues doing that as every other school system around that I read about. Everybody's struggling with, with pay scales. And, and I haven't, in the last five years of watching closely, seen an article in the newspaper anywhere that says, our school system has been keeping up pay scales, step raises. I've not seen that. It's been the total opposite. From we haven't done that for five years, we haven't done that for seven years, we're struggling to, to get it back on track so that we can. But nobody is successful. And, 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 and those systems are, are a lot bigger than ours and should be a lot more affluent than ours. So the, the fact I would like to, to impress is that I would like to see the trust of, of our employees and our board that we're going to do everything we can to help them when we can and when we can be key. Now, I do sincerely believe we need a level playing field. Mm -hmm. we, need to, we need to fix what's broken. That's right. so, so I'm not opposed to that. Mm -hmm. We need to do that. But to imply step raises, I think we can have pay scales without step raises being implied. And what that means is if, if a brand new teacher comes in with 10 years, all of our 10-year teachers are making the same amount of money. That's what that person starts at. So that's still a pay scale, but there's nothing in print that says, after you're here 10 years, you're going to be making this. Because what we do there is create anger and, and mistrust because we're not fulfilling our obligations. And that's what it looks to me like that even though there's never promises, nobody's ever guaranteed that this is what those wages are going to be. It's implied, and people assume and they've got a goal set that after I'm here for X number of years, this is the amount of money I'm going to be making because I've gotten those steps. So if we make promises that we can't keep, then, then we're really going to create a mistrust. If we're not making those promises and we're able to give a 2% raise, then, then we can show everyone out there that we are working under interest. And that's what we've done in spite of not having step raises. But I think we're going to make it difficult for every school board around. And again, you know, I have a folder, maybe even the car I can show you. There's probably at least eight or ten articles over the last two years of local schools from Franklin County to Montgomery County to Body Type County. Everyone's struggling with step raises and pay scales because nobody that I've read has kept them up to date. And I'm sure there are school systems in Virginia that have. But, but as they're manipulating them, Northern Virginia, and, and some of you all have heard me talk about this before, as those pay scales should be and, and are higher and they've been utilized there, 
I know a particular lady who went up and, and she left the county system and she went into that system assuming, and boy, the full board, they have their pay scales, they have them in place. But this person from the county was born in Northern Virginia in a huge school system and starting at zero, not at her 15 years. She went to a school system near the beach. Mm -hmm. Huge penalty. Not as bad as Northern Virginia, but a huge penalty. She went to a school system in Richmond. Same issues. So in, in those big areas, those people aren't maintaining the step raise system as we've all noted in the past. And they're not promising those people. Uh, again, this particular lady assumed because she found the pay scales in Northern Virginia, so she assumed with her 15 years she could go up and make this. She got accepted for a job, and then they talked about pay, and it wasn't. It wasn't even close. So, you know, I just have a real hard time because I know of my years on the school board, the grief that pay scales has created. And, and it hasn't been an intent on any school board since I've been here to not take care of the teachers and to implement raises when possible. But if we do continue to do step raises and pay scales as they are, that, that implication is still out there that you're going to get that raise every year. And, and I'm just a realist and says it can't happen. And when I look at how this is, that this potentially two to three hundred thousand dollars and growing rapidly, I, I don't know where that money's going to come from because again we struggled this year. If we'd have had a sixty thousand dollars, we could have probably put some money in the bank, but we ran out of money before that, and we had to we had to do priorities or where it's going to be. So so if we do a modified version of, of Getting pay scales equal, maybe it's going to cost us fifty thousand dollars, some livable number. Uh, I do believe the the twenty year people, the taking that over the five years, everyone out there now that certainly needs to happen, and I think that's a fair thing of doing. But I, I would just like to see us get a, away from implying step raises because I'm a realist and I really sincerely believe it can't happen every year. And I certainly don't think in the next two years we can get to the point of committing for a $300,000 per year operating cost increase. The city is looking at, at a lot of things in the future where tax revenues could actually go down. So there we're back to the state. And again, their history says there are a lot of strings tied to their money. So the only other way we can hope for money is additional AGM, which is additional cost.